Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video on the most exotic smelling fragrances. Now, I, as you can tell from my face, I'm really excited for this video because I just love this topic. Fragrances that smell exotic, and by exotic, I really want to clarify something. I don't just mean exotic like tropical. I feel like when you say exotic, a lot of people think of the beach, they think of coconuts, they think of mango, they think of tropical like that, which I definitely do have some fragrances that smell like that in this video, which I cannot wait to talk about. But by exotic, for me at least, I'm not sure if it's correct, but what I feel about exotic fragrances are fragrances that when you smell them, you are transported to a place, whether it's India or Nepal or Australia or the Maldives, whatever it is, it's fragrances that make you transport. So in this video, I have a little bit of everything. I have some spicy, some tropical, some floral, etc. And I'm just really, really looking forward to this video. <laughs> I'm going to start off with one that you guys have heard me ramble on about for the past few videos, but I did want to include it in this video because it couldn't be more perfect for this topic. It is Ylang Ylang Nosy Bee from Paris Monte Carlo. This fragrance was a recent discovery of mine. This fragrance, it makes me travel. And actually it makes me travel to Madagascar. I've never been, but if I did go one day, I hope, I would take this fragrance with me. It is a really strong yellow floral that smells extremely balmy and creamy, a little bit powdery. It definitely has a sweetness in there from some vanilla, but overall, it just smells tropical. It is a really beautiful, high quality tropical floral fragrance that has fantastic projection and longevity. And I feel like this is not your typical floral fragrance whatsoever. Really, it smells unique and it does have this super tropical feeling overall to the scent in a really high quality way. It is just stunning and it really makes me travel when I smell it. I have never been to Madagascar, but like I said, if I did go, this is a fragrance that I would take. Ylang Ylang Nosy Bee by Paris Monte Carlo, definitely a fragrance that I think smells extremely exotic and really makes you travel when you smell it. Let's go to a completely opposite direction. We have Andy Tower Accord du Desert. I told you guys that I'm not just putting in tropical scents. We're talking about scents that make you travel. And this definitely makes me travel to the desert, actually, which I live in the desert. But this one, uh, I will tell you guys what I think. Accord du Desert is very dry, ambery, spicy, slightly sweet, slightly balsamic and resinous. It is just, again, a 12 out of 10 fragrance that I absolutely love. And in my mind, when I smell this, I want to go to Morocco. I don't know why, but it's just in my mind, I want to go to Morocco, I want to go to the desert, and I want to be wearing this fragrance. It smells hot. Like there's almost something hot about the fragrance. It smells like dry and woody and spicy and ambery and just it really puts me in the mood it is just a fragrance that makes me travel whenever i smell it um and i can't say anything else about it it is amazing and the longevity and projection is beast mode on this scent i've worn it several times and each time the fragrance just completely envelops you and your space around you it is a very strong fragrance very potent and just a masterpiece of a scent Beautiful fragrance from Andy Tower, Accord du Desert. It's a traveler. It's a traveler for sure. Okay, going back to something a little more tropical, we have Amouage Sunshine. Amouage Sunshine, if you guys have followed me for a long time, you know that it's like where my niche journey started, or at least it was one of my first kind of niche fragrances that I got into. If you guys have followed me for a long time, you know my love for this fragrance. I used to talk about it all the time. And the only reason that I don't is because obviously I'm wearing and trying other fragrances, but sometimes I have a craving to wear sunshine and I do it because it is just beautiful. Now, I'm not really sure where this fragrance makes me travel to, but it makes me travel, if that makes any sense at all. You guys will have to help me out. If you have Amwash Sunshine, what place do you put in mind when you smell it? Because for me, it's so, uh, it's very exotic. It's warm, sweet spicy for me it smells like dried apricots it's spicy on the skin it becomes a little more creamy 
it's very sweet actually it becomes very sweet on the skin and it has something super addictive about the fragrance i think there is maybe some osmanthus in here i think there is some white tobacco but overall you get this very apricoty vibe it's spicy it's sweet and it's just incredible it makes me travel again i'm not really sure but maybe somewhere tropical maybe somewhere in asia or something and it's just beautiful it's a beautiful beautiful fragrance from amouage longevity and projection is incredible on this fragrance you will smell yourself other people will smell you and it has a great projection around you so sunshine from amouage still one of my favorites from amouage from the feminine line it's definitely still up there as one of my top three because i just love it so much i have such a uh, so many memories with this fragrance especially in australia maybe it makes me go back to australia actually thinking about it. The next one is a doozy because this fragrance is so, so spicy and it is amazing. It is amazing, but let me just show you guys what it is. It is the new release from Guerlain and it is called Epis Esquisse. I think that's how you pronounce it, maybe not. I'm not French, so. This fragrance, when I smelled it for the first time, the PR box that it came in was beautiful because I got it, actually this one was sent to me and it had cardamom, it had pink pepper, black pepper, and something else inside of the box. And I opened the box and my whole entire house smelled like spices. This fragrance is extremely spicy. A lot of cold spices in the fragrance. The black pepper definitely brings this like kind of cold, like hitting the back of your nose type of spice. The cardamom as well, super high quality. You can really feel the cardamom at the top of the fragrance. Like it's very strong. You have pink pepper, pink pepper, pink pepper, black pepper, cardamom, sandalwood, angelica. It's a very intense spicy fragrance. And for me, this fragrance, I would imagine you would feel a lot of these scents in India cardamom black pepper pink pepper all of the spices and yeah i just feel like this fragrance if i went to india which i really want to go i would probably take this one with me and i would wear it because i think it just smells like a spice bazaar it's just beautiful and i do have to say something i'm not really sure if i would wear this fragrance myself because it is a little too spicy for me i'm just being completely transparent but i love the way that it smells but it's just too much like cooking spices for me. It really smells like cardamom, like black pepper, like pink pepper. It's just so intense that you really have to be into spicy fragrances to wear this one because it's totally through and through a spicy scent. Um, but it is amazing and it definitely makes me travel to India. So I love this fragrance for that reason. The next fragrance that we have here is one from Zerzhov, which was hard because there is quite a lot that could be considered exotic from Zerzhov, but I went with the one that makes me feel the most exotic when I wear it, and that is Ouverture. I don't know what they did with this fragrance, but it is such a complex composition. There is so much going on in here, but it somehow seems to work, especially on the skin and especially when it's hot. I actually just went for dinner the other night with somebody from the perfume industry. I wore Ouverture and I got complimented from him that night. He was like, somebody smells amazing. He smelled both Pierre and myself and he was like, it's you. And he was like, what is it? It smells really complex and beautiful. What is that fragrance? And I told him that it was Ouverture. And he had never smelled it before, but he told me he loved it. Now, Ouverture for me, it's just so interesting like there is something so interesting about it it has a combination of fig there is some sandalwood there is cinnamon there is vanilla there is jasmine there is florals there is a greenness there is a spice to it there is a creaminess to it for me it smells very milky like it almost smells like fig milk in the scent along with this beautiful cinnamon note that is a little more subtle in the fragrance it's not at the top of the fragrance like you can only smell cinnamon very warm it's very milky it's very creamy you have the fig you definitely pick up the cinnamon there is definitely a sweetness overall to the fragrance for sure it's very warm and woody and creamy and just so complex so original i absolutely love this fragrance i think it smells stunning on a summer night out in general, it is just beautiful, a 10 out of 10. And for me, it transports me to a tropical place, to the beach, drinking a pina colada in the sun, and you're spraying Overture. 
Oh my god, it's just beautiful. Sweet, slightly fruity, milky, creamy, almost coconutty in a way. And it's just stunning. I absolutely love this fragrance. Okay, so next up we have Vanille Havan from Les Andimadab. And this fragrance, when I was thinking about exotic fragrances, it was one of the first fragrances that I knew I wanted to include in this video. Because for me, this is exotic. Oh my god, I want to wear this fragrance in like Cuba or something like that. I just I just feel like I want to. Or, or Mexico or something. I want to wear this fragrance. Oh my god, it's so good, you guys. It's a beautiful vanilla fragrance mixed with dried fruits, mixed with cacao. It has a chocolatiness overall, like you definitely feel the cacao in the fragrance, which I love. It kind of hits the back of your nose and it's something like unexpected in a way. Vanilla, tobacco, it has a booziness to it. Oh wow, guys, I just cannot tell you. It's a very, very intense, dark, sexy, oriental type of fragrance, yet I would like to wear it yeah in like cuba maybe on the beach or with hot skin i just absolutely love it it really makes me travel when i smell this fragrance and it is by far one of my favorite vanilla tobacco scents that i've ever tried because there are so many more aspects going on in the fragrance and it just it's a huge standout for me this is one of my favorite fragrances ever um, I don't wear it that much as you can see because for me, I cannot wear it day to day taking my dog for a walk. But if I go out, best believe I'm choosing this one to wear. Next up we have The Moon from Frederick Mull. I will put a photo of the bottle because you can see I have a um, bottle that was actually gifted to me so kindly from Julien Raskinet, who is a perfumer at IFF. Wait, is my camera gonna die? Julien Raskinet is the perfumer behind this fragrance and he kindly gifted me a bottle when we were in Paris um, and I am so happy to have this fragrance in my collection because it is just a masterpiece of a fragrance, honestly. In the top of this fragrance, you really get this tartness from some lychee. It's sweet, it has some raspberry in there as well, so you kind of almost think the fragrance is going to be like that throughout the whole entire scent. It has, yeah, a very fruity opening to me. Lychee, raspberry, but just wait until it dries down and you will see the progression of the fragrance. It is incredible. So for me, this is a predominantly oud fragrance. Like it's very much an oud scent. If you do not like oud, uh, stay far away. If you're getting into oud or you really want to get into wearing the fragrances that contain oud or you want something super 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 potent try the moon from frederick mal because it truly is one of the most impressive oud fragrances that i have ever smelled in my life and i know it's kind of strange to say i am not the biggest fan of oud like a very strong oud fragrance like this usually would steer me away in the opposite direction because i find it quite unbearable to wear sometimes but the moon, I can wear it. And also Pierre can wear it as well. It's the beautiful opening that kind of catches you and, and brings your attention at first. And then it starts to dry down. There is some rose, there is oud, there is leather. It is quite animalic when it starts to dry down on your skin, but not in the way where it smells too fecal. It definitely is animalic, but not too much where it smells fecal. Um, it is an incredible scent. It makes me travel very far into the Middle East and it just smells like they captured a moment or a memory with this fragrance. So I absolutely love it and it really does make me travel whenever I smell it. Okay guys, next up we're going to talk about probably one of my favorites in this list. I just received it maybe about two weeks ago. Oh my god you guys, I cannot tell you how in love I am with this fragrance. I'm so excited to talk about it. It is from Stefan Amberd Lucas. And this fragrance is called God of Fire. Can we take a quick moment for this stunning packaging that I made all dirty with my fingers? It is just a standout bottle for one, but the scent, the scent, the scent, you guys, I cannot control myself with this fragrance. You all need to run out and get this one. If you like the sound of it, just trust me and go and get it because it is wow. I actually smelled this for the first time at Essence in Milan and I told the CEO, I was like, that fragrance is amazing, <laughs> the 
that is incredible. I sprayed it on the back of my hand and I just couldn't stop smelling it throughout our meeting. Uh, the CEO, he has several different brands, but this fragrance really stood out to me. And when I smelled it, I was just, couldn't stop smelling my hand all day long and I needed a bottle of it. And honestly, guys, this is just, let me spray it. Oh my God, it's a fruity, tropical, sexy, fresh, exotic, cocktail sort of vibe it is just stunning 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 super addictive when i say addictive i mean addictive there is red berries there is ginger there is mango in here i love the mango note in here it doesn't go too creamy because sometimes i feel like mango in a fragrance it can go a little bit too creamy and be a bit way down you guys know i love cruise del sur too which is also like a mango prominent fragrance but i actually do prefer god of fire because it's more light it's more um uplifted there is more of like this kind of citrusiness almost a more fruitiness there is a slight sourness in there as well and of course a little bit of florals underneath there is some jasmine there is some amber in the base to make it more sweet and dark and sexy but overall for me tropical mango some red fruits there is a sourness in there there's some lemon and it is just addictive as hell you guys i cannot even tell you yeah one of the best fragrances that i discovered in 2022 unfortunately i didn't get my bottle until after i posted that video otherwise i would have included it for sure because for me easily one of the best releases of this year and honestly i cannot stop wearing it i've been wearing it any chance that I get, I've been wearing this scent. The other day for lunch with my friend, the other day for a dinner, I've been wearing it any chance that I can. I will not wear this one day today because it's too special to me. It smells really sexy, tropical, mm, like I just love it. This transports me again to like maybe the Caribbeans or something like that. It's just divine. 10 out of 10, longevity projection is really, really good on this one. I sprayed it on my clothes the other day when I had lunch with my friend. And actually when I took off my clothes and hung them up again, I can smell the fragrance all over my clothes still. So beautiful scent, love it. You guys need to get on this one or don't because I kind of want that one for myself. And finally, to wrap it up, we have one from Mikalev. Um, I, you guys know, I just wanted to put it in here because I love the brand, I love the people, and I love the fragrance. I know I've talked about it a lot in the past, Ylangin Gold from Mikalev, but they have this new stunning uh, limited edition packaging. If you can still get it on their e-commerce, you should, because it's just beautiful as a gift. Even coming up to Christmas, I think this is just a beautiful gift. Ylangin Gold is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And for me, even though it's Ylang in Gold, I would kind of classify this fragrance more as a vanilla than I would an Ylang Ylang prominent fragrance. It is just stunning. You have vanilla, you have a little bit of a fruitiness. There is a sweetness there from, oh, it's just divine. It definitely makes you feel like you're on a hot, summery, exotic island with lots of palm trees and greenery around you and it is just gorgeous. It almost has a little bit of a sunscreeny sort of note in there too. There is vanilla, ylang ylang. There is a bit of a fruitiness there. There is coconut as well, which gives it this kind of creaminess overall and a very balmy feeling. It is just a 12 out of 10. You guys know how much I love this one, so I don't need to go into it too much, but it is really a fragrance that whenever I wear it, it transports me. So Ylang in Gold from M. Mikalev. That is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. It was much longer than I was expecting, but I really got into the, to the topic of the video. Um, so yeah, that is it. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.